Bowling has been debated for decades as to whether it's a sport or it's not. Some people view bowling as an activity, like fishing or flying a kite, while others viewed as the ultimate struggle between man and physics. Now we can't possibly settle a debate like that in a five minute video, so we're not even going to try. What we are going to talk about are the top five do's and don'ts of bowling. And who knows, you might even learn something by the time I'm done running my mouth. They may be smelly, weird, and you might not find someone walking down the runway in them, but bowling shoes aren't meant to be fashionable. They serve a higher purpose. Unlike sneakers or street shoes, bowling shoes are made to allow you to glide across the floor smoothly so that you don't come to an abrupt stop and fall flat on your face. And if you're a germaphobe, and the thought of putting your feet in shoes that 465,291 other people have put their feet in as well grosses you out? Well, you can always buy your own pair of shoes. If your wallet allows. Let's be honest. We've all tried to throw the ball as hard as possible to get that perfect strike. Trust me, it's not worth it in the long run. Throwing the ball as hard as you can may lead to serious injury. And in most cases, it won't make you get those strikes that you want to impress that girl or guy you had your eye on at the snack bar. Instead, take your time and plan your next shot in order to get that tricky spare strike. Remember, it's not about power, it's about finesse. You may not realize it, but the bowling alley is a place of courtesy and respect. For example, you should never bowl at the same time as the person next to you. If you do, this could lead to a showdown of epic proportions. Instead of bowling at the same time as the person next to you, take a step back, show some courtesy, and let them go first. Unless, of course, they let you go instead. Before you go and grab the lightest ball on the rack, keep in mind that the lighter the ball you throw, the harder it is for the ball to knock down the pins. It's scientific. But if you throw too heavy of a ball, then the ball might take you down the lane with it. Not literally, but you get the idea. Instead, Get suggestions from experienced bowlers, perhaps at the pro shop, and they'll help you pick the ball that feels best. Bowling alleys are known for their gourmet cuisine and five-star ratings. The wings, the Mountain Dew, the cowtails. Oh, those cowtails, they're so good. But that doesn't mean you can eat and drink on the lane. If you want to eat, you can put your food and drinks on the tables conveniently placed behind the lane. Now, you're ready to bowl. So there you have it. Some basic rules to follow at the alley that will hopefully keep you out of the gutter. We hope you have found this video educational and entertaining. If you haven't, well then, I guess you've just wasted five minutes of your life. Either way, thanks for watching. Justin. All right. Let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> you were already like there and I was still like a yard away. Five, four, three, two, one. Genji. <laughs> she doesn't know how to do Go over there. I'm recording now. Dingalings. Just see it. Okay, Helen. <laughs>